hated glasses, man. I had the big thick kind. The reason I couldn't take them off. You know, some people can just take them off. I couldn't take mine off because uh, growing up, I used to have a cross eye, and then I had the the glasses to keep them straight. You know. And I know some of you guys are looking at me. They look fine now. <laughs> That's because I got money now. You know. <laughs> got laser eye surgery. It was like sending my eye to boot camp. It straightened right out. You know. It was terrible. I couldn't take them off. Because they sometimes they'd fall off. And people wouldn't call it a cross eye. They'd be like, ooh, you got a lazy eye. That's rude. <laughs> no, it's rude because it's not like your eye has an option, you know? <laughs> it's not like that eye woke up one morning and was like, man, forget this job. <laughs> I'm going to go over and hang by your nose all day if you don't mind. Just hanging there like a heroin addict, man. <laughs> oh, I hated it. So I'd always keep the glasses on, you know? Would never take them off. Doesn't matter how much they call me Urkel, you know? I learned at a very early age, I'd much rather hear, hey, four eyes than hey, who the heck are you looking at, you know? <laughs> That's the answer on a question I knew I couldn't answer, you know? I think I'm looking at you, but I'm not sure, to be honest with you. <laughs> but this is all I do now. This is all I do is stand up, travel, meet interesting people, you know, learn a lot of things. I was down in North Carolina, had a pretty weird experience. I was on my way to the beach. I stopped at a store, walked in, asked the lady at the counter, I said, hey, ma'am, uh, can you point me in the aisle where the sunblock's at? She looked at me and said, for what? <laughs> I was annoyed. I was like, because I got a white girl tied up in my trunk. That's why. <laughs> Which is rude. But why should I be the only one uncomfortable in the situation, right? She looks at me, she says, oh my God, I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't trying to be rude or offensive or anything. Please forgive me, sir. Please forgive me. And I did, whatever. But I did think it was a little bit weird because if I did have a white girl tied up in the trunk, she didn't care. <laughs> Just a white girl in the trunk. And then she goes, you know, I had no idea black people use sunblock. And at this point in the conversation, I, I, I probably should have walked away. <laughs> but I was curious, you know? I said, what, what do you think we use? He said, no, 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 I don't want to say. He said, no, 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 tell me. What do you think we use? He said, no, no, I don't want to say. I said, listen, I ain't going to tell nobody. Clearly, I was lying, right? <laughs> you, right? She goes, well, I just, I just thought y'all had the ability. I said, ability? Like a superhero or something? She said, no, I just thought y'all had the ability to absorb the sun. I said, what? <laughs> I've never heard that before in my life. I couldn't get mad at her, I asked the question. I just looked at her and I said, ma'am, I don't know where you get your information from, but just because we're darker than you doesn't mean our skin's made out of solar panels. You, know? <laughs> you think black people go to the beach all day to charge up, just be laying out there? Come on, son, give it to me so I can run faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, did you know that Drive-By Comedy has their own app? Download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and watch my whole special.